Dubai is a city that loves its flashy cars. Take for example this, Red Bull's Formula One championship winning team celebrating on top of the Burj Al Arab Hotel. Or how about the city's police force? They track down criminals in souped up sports cars. The Lamborghini Aventador, one of their latest recruits. Since I joined the company in 2000, so it's perhaps fitting that this week the city hosted a major motor show with more than a hundred regional car launches. Anything from high-end luxury to affordable saloons. So lots on offer, but what type of vehicle is the regional bestseller? The SUVs are still as popular as ever. I mean, for brands like Audi, the biggest seller is still the Q5 SUV or Porsche. It's the KM that sells most, you know, and even for niche brands like Mini, which anywhere else in the world would just sell hatchbacks and, and uh, convertibles. For them, the biggest seller here is the Countryman crossover. Um, at one point, we had the largest number of Range Rovers per capita than anywhere else in the world here in the UAE. So if big equals best, how about this? The Volro displayed the largest sports utility vehicle at the show. But what's the attraction of owning such a big car? Under the hood, 5.7 V8 supercharged engine, big wheels, bulletproof bumpers that can stop, nothing can stop this car. So somebody driving this car feels, it feels that power and he controls that power. So he feels power and control. Of course, it's not all about gas guzzlers. Even top-end brands like Porsche are keen to show they're doing their bit to reduce fuel consumption. This is the Panamera SE Hybrid, half petrol, half electric. But in a region where fuel is relatively cheap, do people really care? I believe so. I believe uh, that, that uh, new technology engineering at top level uh, always will attract people. So a selection of the cars on display here, but for some, it's not just about having a beautiful car, it's about owning the only one of its kind. Hummer, going to be painted super burl blue. Hussam Sula runs Royal Customs, a Dubai-based business that tailor makes body kits to upgrade existing cars. He recently took a Lexus Invader and converted it to this. One of a hundred units to be released in the world. Full interior is made with original leather, Alcantara roof, and full carbon fiber detailing. So how much are his customers willing to spend to realize the car of their dreams? When you have people like presidents, ministers, you know, or people of high authority, there is no limit. They will get a car that costs 200,000 and spend 600,000 dirhams, which is equivalent to around $100,000 on the actual vehicle. So here's extra money, work extra hard, make sure this 2015 concept car is available for me next month because I want to drive it. I don't want to drive a regular Lamborghini that is found all over the Jumeirah Road or anywhere else. And it's because of that kind of logic that Bugatti, producers of the world's most expensive cars, chose to launch their latest creation in Dubai. But good luck getting one. Only three will be produced, each carrying a price tag of $2.8 million.